I'm terrified of spiders. But they say you should face your fears and it's Halloween, so I'm going to make myself a pen made from these furry little nightmare beasties. Despite my hatred for these abnormally legged little bastards of death, I'm an animal lover. I can't bring myself to kill at least one of these, let alone encase one in resin alive. So therefore, I spent some time hunting for dead spiders and bolted spiders in the shed, in the workshop and uh, in the house over the space of a few months. This coffee tin did the job, but I made sure to label it up to avoid any nasty surprises when making coffee. I used some painted black tubes as my normal brass ones would probably detract from the effect. And now the fun job of gluing some spiders to the tube. Yay! Tweezers, super glue, and a stiff drink are all I needed. Ooh, bit fiddly this, especially when you're scared of spiders and shaking. I tried to wrap the legs around the tube for best effect, but also keep the nasty bits of the spider, like the teeth, uh, near to where you hold it. Right, that looks pretty horrible. Let's get some resin on it. And it fits nicely inside my little pen blank mould. Um, I'm just going to give it a little blast of silicon spray to act as a release. So once the uh, resin is cured, it should be easy to pop out of the mould. I'm using Aluminite Clear Resin with the pumps, so there's no messing around with weighing it or measuring it. Just an equal number of pumps from each one into a cup. I gave the cup a good mix and then poured slowly into the mould. And now into my pressure pot to get rid of any bubbles. It should be done within six hours or so I've been told, but I left it overnight to make sure it had fully cured. Great! <laughs> These look nasty, but in a good way. I used my barrel trimmer to make sure the ends were flush, and then I put my bushings into the end. I used a Taylor's Murfield Zeta kit to make this pen. They're amazing kits and I've never had a problem with one. Turning this pen was almost as harrowing. Now I don't often wear a mask as I have a reasonable dust collection system in place, but the resin dust is nasty stuff. But worse was the idea of accidentally breathing in a bit of a spider. Oh, I seem to remember seeing a horror movie once about some high school kid getting infected with spider DNA and turning into a spider. That was a freaky horror film. Anyways, I continue to turn the pen mostly with my Easy Wood Tools Carbide Scraper, as this thing is very sharp, but I switched over to my Round Carbide for finishing. Now my Round Carbide tool is just a cheap Chinese tool from Banggood.com, and I've done a review of their tools before if you want to check it out, and it's proof that cheap can still work great. Now I tried very hard to cut short of the spider parts, but obviously accidents happen and yeah, there are bits of spider everywhere. Now once I was happy with the final pen shape, it was time to switch to the less fun job of sanding. So some rough 120 grit first, and then some 180, some 220, some 320, and finally 600. Definitely worth moving up the grit slowly there. I needed to make this one as smooth and comfortable as possible since well, it would be a really uncomfortable pen to use it with its content, so that might offset that a little bit. So, just a smidge of Yorkshire grit, abrasive paste. I love this stuff. I could almost eat it on toast, although obviously I won't because that would probably be painful. Looking nice. Finally some polishing up with some polishing compound. And great, time to assemble. Well, this turned out as horrible as I expected. Horrible to make too, I feel a little bit traumatised. The spiders didn't fare so well, some of them turned a bit white during the cast, and it's not polished up well. I should redo these, but honestly I don't ever want to see another spider again. You may have also noticed I made two, since, well, what's worse than one spider pen? Two spider pens! And there's no way I want to write with these pens, in fact I don't even want them in my house, so I'm going to give them away. Maybe there's someone you know who's scared of spiders that you don't like, or maybe you love these eight-legged evil abominations of nature and spawns and Satan. I'm not going to judge. Now if you want one of them, make sure you're subscribed, share the video, and post a comment below. I'll announce the winner next month during a livestream. Thanks for watching all, and happy Halloween!